Oh boy. I just ran off the ledge. I didn't realize I could do that. Oh, I see it's just a uh, way down anyway. Okay. So we've got a hut here. No, it's just like a creeper face in the, in the wall. That's very comforting. And... And these mushrooms are so weird. Here we go. Down goes the creeper. Anything this way? No. Aha! Look at that. Ooh, we got an axe. Uh, does that go in the inventory slot anyway? Is that just a weapon? So this is actually four. So we can actually take that. So it does serve to be a sort of weapon. We're going to end up having to maybe throw away stuff or sell stuff. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's keep going. Did I chop down trees? No. <laughs> of course not. It's not that type of game. If we head down the path here, we've got Johnny's. Nice. Ooh, he's got armor on. He took a two-hitter. Nice. Sheep. Can I attack the sheep? Oh, I'm sorry, man. He wasn't hurting nobody. That was kind of mean. Zombie. And yeah, this is cool. This is really, really fun. It's simplistic in nature, and it's just fun. Alright, pick up the TNT. We know what to do with that. It just looks silly having it above our head. I guess that just... It's a way to, to display it. it takes precedence over the arrows. Alright, zombie, come here. Alright, this this seems like... Ooh, I don't want to go that way. This seems like a little bit of a, an unnatural terrain here. Really interesting. Can I go up this way? Is that... No, it doesn't seem like it. I gotta go up and around, probably. Boom! Oh, right off the bridge! Oh, what the... That was a weird attack. Um, I don't think I can go that way. It's it's kind of hard to see where some of the paths are. Right. Oh! Wow. The attacks are kind of cool. Alright, so this is kind of where I need to go back this way, I guess. Ah, uh, here's that bridge. No, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? It's wanting... You gotta click on the bridge. Otherwise, it's gonna take me back. Literally where I was clicking. Uh, pick that up. That shadow boost pretty awesome. Hurt you, hurt you. Nothing in the woods. Okay. It's like a tree that used to be here. Come here, zombie. It's cool. It's a cool way to display, though. All right, we gotta go this way. It's telling us we have to go this way. So it is pretty linear, but there's kind of like these areas that are kind of questionable. Like, can I go this way? You can jump right off and maybe go down there first instead of going around. Uh, looks like I'm in a fort, a village. Right. Okay. I'm gonna go here. Supplies. Bread. And that. We've got some things here. Jugs. Oh, this is gonna be like Zelda now. Just breaking people's pottery. And what's this? Books, which don't serve any real purpose. Okay, uh, I guess that's it for this building. Right? Ooh. We said there was nothing this way, right? So yeah, let's go down. So this stage is a little bit longer. I don't know if we'll end up splitting this up or not. You guys will find out later on. Oh, there's a lot of spiders. There's a lot of spiders. There we go. Man, ooh. The music is just really, really creepy. Okay. Oh, this must be like a... Oh, God. Like a spider's lair or nest or something. This is so awesome. What an awesome idea. Oh, man, I love this. It wants me to go that way, but you know what we do? We explore. 
because we want super good weapons, armor, whatever goodies we can find. I can't hurt the eggs. I'm, I'm guessing those are eggs. Right, another dead end. Let's go. Proceed on to adventure. And what is that, a picky with a chest? Come here. Whoa, what is that? Is that a, you picked up a pink scoundrel. What is that? Strength potion. Let's quickly look at that before we get attacked. It's it's a bow. It's worse than the one we have equipped. Change to enrage. To enrage mobs. Okay. Uh, no, that doesn't sound pretty good. It hits multiple targets. And it does a decent amount of damage. But this does a better range. So yeah. Let's, let's not worry too much about that one. Alright, where, where am I at? Where's this caravan? New objective, free the villagers. Did I even find the caravan? I've got to free five villagers, and there's a bunch of Johnnies. Bam, spit attack. Alright, let's save you. That's one. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. Oh, he hit me, I think. Here's a, here's a second one. This must be the caravan. Oh, I... The cow. You don't you don't you di I see what you're doing. Ah, and I am I'm the one that ends up hitting it. Alright, so that's two, right? We got two. Here's three. Alright, man, there's a lot of guys here. I hope I can't really hurt the villagers though. It seemed like that might be counterproductive. Okay, oh what's going on here? Okay, that's four. That's just a crypt. This has to be the caravan. There's all these, like, things. These caravan-like things here. <laughs> the, the wheels. That's funny. Uh, I've got a lot of dynamite. Alright, so... I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. It looks like we've probably got that villager up there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shortcut. Right. What are you doing? What are you doing? And we did it. F find the exit. Yes, you're welcome. Um, I'm guessing the exit is where that arrow is telling me to go. But I want to quickly just... Let's take a quick look at the map. Just really quick. Alright, so there's really not much left to this area. I just want to see if we get any other treasure chests that might give us... What did that do? What did that do? Right, I don't know what this did. It doesn't seem to have done anything. If it did, I can't find it at all. So um, my guess is it's probably just there to distract me. Really odd. Um, I wish I knew what that did, but I guess nothing. Don't hurt the cow. Don't hurt the cow. All right, we've got supplies here. Got arrows and the the life bread. And we're going to go through here because this is where we have to go. We've got some skellies. Some skellies. Some skellies. Get out of the way, sheep. I leveled up. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but it seems has given me stuff, so maybe I do want to keep doing that? Right. And a lot of ruins. I like these. They're cool. More skellies. That sounds scary. Right, a lot of mobs. What's going on? We're gonna go the opposite way because that's where the arrow is taking us. Whoops. Oh, it did drop meat. Yes. Ow! Oh man. Awesome amount of emeralds. No! I didn't do that. I didn't tell you to do that. Alright, so there's a lot of mobs this way. And, and the good thing about fighting all the mobs is that you get opportunities to just keep leveling up. You get more emeralds, some possible drops if you have looting. 
Um, some of those enchantments, though, seem pretty short-lived on the weapons and armor, though, just because it seems like you, you level up fairly quickly and find armor, new armor, rather quickly. It, it would have been better if I just kind of kept the same armor for a bit, enchanted that stuff, and then just kind of had a, a more of a reason to upgrade the armor, or vice versa, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm saying, but you guys get, get it, hopefully. Anyways, um, that was it, huh? Just a treasure chest out here? Let's try to find the other portion of where I'm supposed to go. Backtrack now. All right, so here we go. Got more mobs this way. Wow, man. All right, so there's not much this way. We can just kind of quick, quickly check it out. Where is that coming from? Where are those sounds coming from? Because that is creepy. That is really, really creepy. Is it coming from this? Jeez. I mean, this is a graveyard area, it looks like. Doesn't appear to be much this way. There's a lot of sheep and whatnot. And their pork, the meat, if you do get them to drop like meat or beef or whatever, it actually does help you regenerate some health. So it may be beneficial to actually just kind of get rid of them. And hopefully they drop some stuff that will help you. There we go. There we go. Nice. And of course, now that I'm talking about it, there is none here. There's no enemies. Bread! Regeneration. Perfect. Exactly what I'm talking about there. Let's do that. There we go. An apple. That helps. Alright, I want to check out this bottom area. This stage is pretty big. This stage is no joke. Alright, here we go. Ooh, emeralds. Man, how, how big is this stage? This is crazy. Oh, boy. We missed a treasure chest back there, too. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. The creepers. The creepers. Gotta watch out for the creepers. Escape the creeper woods. Come on, I'm trying to, but this this is impossible. There's just a lot of mobs everywhere. Get out of here. Holy cow, man. How many mobs are in this place, and, and how big is this place? Right. Oh, it's not good, though. How much stuff can we actually hold? Alright, this is all dead ends. Except for here. Right. Okay. There we go. Here's a nice looking treasure chest. Ooh, a sword. A nice looking sword. That might be... Oh, it's still not good. What do I do with this? Pulls close mob range here in position. Oh, so it's like a ranged weapon, I'm assuming. We don't really need it. I'm, I'm happy with the arrows. I'm barely even using that. And we've got two sticks of dynamite we're kind of holding on to at this point, too. So, yeah, it's it's whatever. All right, it looks like I've hit that dead end. We've got to backtrack again. <laughs> this is like the Lost Woods of Zelda. You just kind of follow paths, and hopefully you find your way back. One thing I got to say, though is check out the sound effects. I mean, I've said it before, but like when you start to actually pay attention to all the other stuff, like the wolves howling, the, um, the owl, is that an owl? I don't even know if that's an owl or not. I'm trying to find this treasure chest that I think is somewhere over on this side. Right? There it is, look at that. What is that? Swiftness potion. Alright, cool. Yes, we definitely need that. We need to run. Alright, let's head up this way. Nice. Make some progress here, finally. Ooh, that's scary. Alright. Alright, we've got some stuff warping in. 
Get out of here, creepers. They will charge me. It's nuts. How did I miss that? Get over here, Skelly. There you go. Nice. That was easy. Alright. Where's it going? Is this the end? This must be the end. Victory! These villages are free from the clasp of the villagers. All thanks to you. That's right. All right, so that stage was pretty big. It's it's no joke. I think <laughs> I may have to split that up into two episodes, depending on how I uh, do this in editing. If not, good for us. But if if we have to, then that's what it is. Uh, there's a lot of back and forth that happened in that episode, or just in in this stage, I should say. So maybe there's a bit I can cut out and save us some time, but as we can see, we did zero healing at this time, so really good. We didn't actually have to heal, and we killed 92% of the mobs that were, I guess, on this stage. Okay, that's not too bad, right? Chest opened, 90%, so I must have missed something here or there. And damage taken, or da ooh, damage taken or damage dealt? I took damage taken. 511? Really? Enemies defeated, we killed about 405 enemies. That's pretty crazy. Didn't really seem like it, but wow. And here's the chest, which should show us something cool. Look at that creeper in the background, that's neat. What, what are, ooh, boots of swiftness. Boots blessed with enchantments to allow for swift movements. Useful in uncertain times such as these. And I don't know if that is actual part of your armor inventory or is that just a, a dispensable item on? Who knows? Anyways, let's go back to our camp. All right, so here we are back at camp and we've got a chest, a lobby chest. What does that mean? Ooh, we've got a blacksmith. You found a chest with 50 emeralds claimed. That's mine. It's all mine. You guys can't have none of it. It's mine. And it looks like we've got some villagers here now, maybe because we freed some up. So we've got a blacksmith. Let's try to travel around just a little bit before we go and see if we have unlocked anything else. So I guess this is maybe an area that may continue to develop if that's the case. We've got training grounds to test stuff at and yeah, so far I'm not seeing too much. It might just be just the blacksmith, which is okay. Um, right. Interesting, interesting. Really neat. And I guess let's just quickly take a look at the blacksmith before we go. Random gear, make trade, hold to confirm. Get a random piece of gear appropriate for your level. I think I think we're pretty good with what we have as far as gear. So I don't know that I want to risk that just yet. We, it is 80 emeralds. We do have 242 emeralds. But I feel like we've been pretty lucky in getting the gear that we have, so this might not be necessary just yet. I think we'll hold off until we find that we are getting to a point where the, the, the gear that we're finding isn't um, better in rapid succession than what we've been finding so far. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of today's episode, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you're liking this series so far. Uh, if you have, drop a like, please. And I will see you all in the next episodes of Minecraft Dungeons. Till next time, see you all later, and have a good one.